let's start with kind of why you're here. And that is for the newly branded uh, Madison Arts Alliance, correct? Correct. Mm -hmm. Formerly Art Council. It may have even had a different name than that before. Mm -hmm. um, let's start with you. Later, we're going to talk about, you know, scholastically. I'll just highlight right now as a primer. You get a scholarship to Montevallo. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know if it's Montevallo or not, but. That's I do speak Spanish. Yeah. I say Montevallo. Yeah. It's um, Montevallo. Montevallo. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my first name is Monty, by the way. Oh, really? My given name. Yeah, I like that. Thank you. So you got a sc art scholarship. We'll, we'll return to that. Mm -hmm. So art has been in your blood. It's something you're really good at. Yes, you happen to sell real estate, um, but art's really your passion. You know, truly, I love both. Okay. Um, now, art is something that I've been doing forever, um, but... Home ownership matters, yeah. um, and got into that. So I am part salesperson, realtor, also part artist. Um, so I'm just a blend of a person. Yeah. Um, and both matter a lot to me. Um, and love art, and I think probably my first, um interest in real estate was doll houses. I was really into dolls and doll houses as a kid, and of course my parents buying houses and I picked their home that they live in now. Um, that they, you know, first moved up here. I just, I have a really good, um, really good picker when it comes to real estate. Okay. Um, so, so I love both picker in the sense of how that home's going to fit your clients. Right. Right. And just the area, you mm -hmm. know, if a person will like that area, if it'll fit their needs, um, just kind of a little bit of forethought of thinking about what their needs are because everyone's different. Mm -hmm. Some people love the cliff farm village at Oakland Springs areas. Some people want to be on an acre or five acres. It just depends on what they're looking for. Mm -hmm. So, and you have the advantage of spent half of your life here now. Right. Right. As, and mostly in those years that your formative years, mm -hmm. right? I guess it'd be one thing for you to go back down to Birmingham and sell real estate. Mm -hmm. I would assume you'd have to catch up a little bit on, on those areas versus kind of like as a teenager or young adult, you might look through the lens a, a little bit. Um, does this make sense? Kind of like if you had clients come to you now, I, you know, I, I would, it would seem like as an, as an, a, an adult, having spent your adult years here, you would, more easily be able to uh, think through those scenarios of, Hey, you're going to like this area over another mm -hmm. versus maybe in Birmingham where maybe they're just more childhood memories or no. Mm -hmm. So I, I went to Montevallo in Birmingham. So I, I've lived all over Birmingham. Okay. Um, grew up in our first house was in Eastlake. Um, we moved to Vestavia. Um, then we moved up here. Then I went down to Montevallo then was in Calera and Alabaster and Hoover. Oh, wow. And I have family all over Birmingham, um, you know, family that grew up in Centerpoint and family in Homewood and family in Hoover and, hmm. you know, uh, Chelsea. So I have a lot of people in Birmingham that um, I still am connected with friends and family. Um, so I'm down there quite a bit. Um, and really do know Birmingham very well. Um, and of course, know Madison and Huntsville as well. Okay. Um, yeah. And then like you had just said, I guess I was following up on, of course, if they write an article on you and you've appeared to the Madison record a few times, um, you know, and at the time when you're leaving high school, of course, your dream is to get is to pursue art. However, like you just said, you also have to in practical terms, right? As much as everyone wants to make it big and be a musician or an artist, sometimes you have to look for a way to pay the bills. Correct. Real estate interior design, if you will, uh, seems to blend quite well mm -hmm. with a budding artist, mm -hmm. right? Where now that really makes sense where you have this ability to somewhat um, differently show your artistic talent, right? As you work with clients on a particular property, whether that's an existing home or a new home.